have a couple of concerns um, and some questions. My first concern is that I, in passing by the hospital, feel like that is actually the least part, safe part of the commute, um, in that lots of people are turning in and out. Um, and passing by Concord Ortho is similar, and that people are coming in and out that way as well. Um, and I think that it's not just a concern of like what is going to be in terms of zoning, like making that even more industrial certainly takes away from the bike friendly city that we claim to be. And I think being bike friendly is something that encourages young people to be here. Um, another thing is that um, as in terms of wetlands and wetland mitigation, I was really kind of saddened to think that um, essentially wetland mitigation is breaking the law in one place and then saying, but it's okay because we're doing the right thing in another. And um, as, a, as a scientist, I'm, I'm a science teacher and I couldn't explain to my students how in any way that was mitigation if you destroy one habitat and say, it's okay because we're going to save another. Um, I also am concerned, I worked at White Farm for, or the, um, I worked for Project C, which is based out of White Farm, which is on the other side. Um, and so the Turkey River goes through that area um, and would be impacted by any flooding or additional runoff. And I was wondering, that's kind of one of my questions, is how that side of our green spaces would be impacted and that we cross country ski and use that space over there on the other side. Um, and Project C uses that space for every student in the Concord School District visits Project C in the White Farm area back there, and I didn't know what kind of impacts there might be in terms of runoff or even just light or sound pollution in terms of that natural space that people are using on a regular basis. Um, let's see. Yeah. So I, I guess I feel that, in ter especially in terms of traffic, we rezone this whole section as industrial, that, that especially, is, or sorry, as um, institutional, that that is especially concerning to me as a bike commuter and as someone who sees that area as a nice place to walk. And I often, often see people walking and using that space. I know that a lot of students get dropped off who go to Dairy Field School and need to walk back towards St. Paul's. There's a lot of just foot traffic and bike traffic, and I've seen an increase in bike traffic in that area, and that once more entering and exiting cars is really the most dangerous um, time, and the time I'd be most likely to end up at Concord, Concord also. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, and green spaces, a lot of research shows that keeping green space and green quarters in your community um, has many benefits, including heating and cooling services, which are often forgotten, increased property values, and studies have shown healthier re residents. And so I really feel like if the hospital, seems like in the hospital's best interest and Concord Ortho's best interest, to try to place this building in a place where they can disrupt as little green space as possible, because green spaces and being able to run and play in a backyard or be at White Farm and explore as a kindergartner um, are things that are keeping us really healthy as well. So finding a different space that doesn't disrupt green space seems like a great idea to me. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Any questions?